Adventures of Jungle Jim. A complete radio episode based on the action pictures and characters of the same name that appear every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. When their bomber transport was forced down over the Pacific, Jungle Jim and his guerrilla raiders found themselves on a tiny island recently seized by the Japs. To their amazement, the island was also inhabited by a glamorous Hollywood film star, Jane Lauren. With Jane's help, they avoided various Japanese traps and were even able to set up a trap of their own. When a Jap destroyer anchored offshore and sent a launch to the island, Jim split his force into two groups. Leading one group, he seized the launch and, under cover of darkness, towed it to safety. To their great relief, the launch provided them with small arms and hand grenades. But with the coming of dawn, their troubles increased. A campfire at the very spot where their friends were stationed had them puzzled. But a vicious Jap assault on the campfire sent Jim into action. He dispersed his own group into the jungles to draw the Jap's bullets away from his cornered comrades. Maybe so. Too late for help, Captain Rinelli Feller, Twan Jim. Uh, maybe, Colo. But we've got to try because... Uh-oh. Not see nothing, Twan? Something just shook the leaves of that palm tree. Not been no breeze. That's just it. Get behind me now. I'll take a pot shot at it. Once a shoot, other Japs know us here. They'll know it soon enough anyway. Steady now. Here goes. <laughs> you fix him good, Twan. Him fall like ton of brick. Get down, Cole. Don't make a move. Now what? But they can't see us. They're shooting wild. Shooting plenty close will shoot me. I just lie low. Boy, these Jap rifles pack a kick. Ooh, sound like hand grenade. Yeah, either French or your Tom son. Maybe so safe we move now. Okay, but take it easy. Smoke from campfire, steel in sky. Yeah. Those last two launches from the destroyer will make a beeline for it. Must get there first. Make plenty warm welcome for Japs on launches. Yeah, we might have. We started earlier. But this way, we're cut off, Kolo. Oh, they'll slaughter a Nolly and his men like sheep. Uh, also slaughter Piram Jane? And if she's lucky, they'll kill her outright. Gosh, I don't see how Renelli could have thought that fire would help us. Jim, Twan! Quiet. What is it? Fella been on trail. Kolo, hear him. Up ahead there? Not ahead. Behind us. Behind? Are you sure? Oh, Twan, Jim. All right. We... This elephant grass is tall enough to hide us. You take the right side, and I'll take the left. We catch Twan. Make much quiet. Wait, Something's wrong. You think we can trade him, Jack? I think we'd better not wait to find out. Jim, don't fall. They must have been a burn call. I know, but even if I had a war hole, I wouldn't know what's falling in. Let's go back. Then you're all here. Hey, did you hear? Sure, Dave. the trail then. Sure. What gear? Come on, Jane. Can't see him. Said to walk up the trail. So we're here. Now what? Okay. It's all right, Colo. Well, Dr. Livingston, I presume. Just had to make sure, Jane. Plenty of these Japs can fake an American accent. Colo, catch them water topside, maybe. Been crazy, maybe. How so, Piram Jin and Captain been come up behind us? Yeah, we saw that campfire and thought you were in trouble. We heard the shooting last night and thought you were. A Jap sniper got one of our men, young Page. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. He, he was a good boy. After that, they knew where we were. We started that fire to keep him guessing for a while. Then Jane here led us around to the cove where you took the launch. You weren't there, but we heard a hand grenade a minute ago and we figured... Right. Are the rest of your men back at the cove? Mm, most of them. But if you're figuring on using that launch, give it up. We measured the gas tank. I'll signal Sing Ling and the others from the top of this hill. Mm, but without that launch, we're still cornered. Not only that, but there are two more launches full of them. When they get wise that that campfire's just a phony, they'll turn on the heat for real. Well, such as it is, that cove is the safest place for us to make a stand. Then why are we hanging around the top of this hill? Well, we can see the whole island from here. Also, whole island can see us, Twan. Uh, not unless we show ourselves, Kolo. Hey. Well, for the love of... Look who's here. Where? Up in the sky there. 
No, no, no. To the left. Hmm? Planes. Uh, they're going to bomb us out. We can't do anything against planes, Jim. No, and the worst of it is, they're our own planes. Uh, you mean they're... Yeah. Hell divers. Navy dive bombers. Oh, they'll blast that destroyer first, and after that they'll blast us. And there's no way in the world we can stop them. Jim and the little group on the hilltop watch in fascinated horror the approach of what seems to be their certain doom. We'll rejoin them again in just a moment. Meanwhile, let's talk about you. If you're one of the 15 million readers who look forward every Sunday to the thrilling full-color pages of the Comic Weekly, you know already that the Comic Weekly stands for reading pleasure at its best. The Comic Weekly contains over two dozen of the greatest features ever conceived. Features that have made the Comic Weekly America's favorite funnies. That's why 15 leading Sunday papers from coast to coast, including one in this city, are proud to distribute this great comic magazine. So join our 15 million readers and get your share of Sunday entertainment. You'll find the figure of Puck and the name, the Comic Weekly, at the top of the front page. Now back to an American dive bombing attack and Jungle Jim. <laughs> Hadn't we better get off this hilltop and head for cover, Jim? There's no cover on the whole island, Jane. At least this way we can see it when it comes. Not to worry. It can come plenty soon. What about the rest of our bunch? Wherever they are, they'll stay put if they're wise. Look, they're certainly giving that destroyer the works. That's some consolation, anyway. Those two Jap launches are circling around like chickens without their heads. Them may lose heads plenty soon. Oh, did you see that? Couldn't have missed the destroyer by more than ten yards. It's the one that doesn't miss, I want to see. Watch it. Get out, Jane. I'm all right. Uh, got so interested watching the show, I forgot we were in this war, too. Could you tell where that shot came from, Kolu? Jungles down below, on right. Listen, sounded like one of those planes. Keep it down, Jane. Jane. Oh, I see what you mean. That one nearly ruined my hairdo. For good. That's okay. It also showed me where that monkey is. Give me room, Jim. I'll put this Tommy gun to work. Don't show yourself, Ronelli. Don't worry. Here he comes. He's going to rush us. Okay, his rushing days are over. <laughs> Fun Jim, take look see. Jack destroyer been back pretty tired. Yeah. That explosion we heard took care of her port side. She's keeling over, all right. They're not finished with her, though. They're climbing for another run. Much good. Now them sink other jet launches, too. Never mind them. Watch the planes. Man, that, that shook the whole island. Sent that destroyer to meet his ancestors, too. Must have been a direct hit on the powder magazine. Going after those launchers. After that, it'll be our turn. Watch it. One of them's leveling off toward us. Get down, quick! Hey, he isn't strafing. I wonder what down we're doing. Him see launch we stole in coal. Hope our guys weren't there when that bomb landed. Say, that nearest launch is out of control. Yeah, the other one's trying to make a run for it. Him not get far. Bullseye! Look, Ronelli, look, they're sinking. Yes, it's a clean sweep for the Navy, all right. But this is where they dish it out to us. And they're getting set for it in a funny way, chum. They didn't climb that high to go after the destroyer. Here I'm Jim, been cut right. Yeah. They're practically in a vertical climb. The lead plane is nearly out of sight. You'd almost think they knew we were on the island. No, no, look. Look at the sky over to the west. Huh? There's your answer. Over to the west? Yeah. Way up, Ronelli. See them? I can't see a thing. More planes. Plenty more. Yeah. Yeah, I got them now. They must be Jacks. Yeah. Our fellas are climbing to get set for them. Chung Ho! Jim! Chung Ho! That you, Sing Lee? Unfortunately, true. Uh, you are on hilltop? Yes, but we're coming down. Yeah. Uh, 
excellent lesson in American marksmanship. Uh, too bad the uh, bullets could not choose between friend and foe. Any of our fellows hurt singly? Alas, yes. Mm. The youthful Schultz and the smiling Filipino Carlos. Oh, blast it all. Japanese loss is much more severe. Uh, also, my meddlesome nephew, Tom Sun, has made great discovery. There is a Japanese hut nearby, complete with radio. A radio? What is left of one? If it is possible to reassemble it, our chance will be greatly improved. Well, lead me to it, Singh. I've been tinkering with radio ever since I was in knee pants. See if I can put some life back into it while Jim here rounds up the rest of the gang and tallies up the score. Jane, you better stick with me. These jungles are still far from safe. Vanelli, you've tapped out that same message so many times I know the dots and dashes by heart. But what do they mean? Uh, he is uh, trying to reach American base. Uh, telling who we are and where we are. Uh, asking them to be good enough to call off any further attacks and, if possible, to send help. <laughs> That's putting it more politely than I did, Singh, but it's the general idea. In another half hour, I'll try it again. Chung-ho! That's Jim. Chung-ho! All clear! Well, there's no change in the setup since my last tour of duty. Except that Frenchie and Tom's son each picked off another sniper. Any luck, Ranelli? There's no way of telling. This thing can send, but it can't receive. And I'm not too hopeful about how far it'll send. It'll be dark in a few minutes. Guess we're out of luck. Yeah, I must unwillingly agree. Oh, don't say that. We've been sending the same message ever since noon, Jane. Uh, help would be here by now if message received. And as soon as it's dark, the Jap snipers that are left will really go into the wreck. Uh, they are doubtless aware of our capture of hut. Uh, I suggest we leave Sam when darkness falls. What about the radio? Destroy Sam. It was apparently of no use to us. Now, wait a minute. Listen. Hmm? Planes, Jim. I hear planes. Well, sure. They must have got your message, Ranelli. Well, come on. Let's flag them in. Funny. They sound close as anything, but I can't see them. No. Neither can I, but... But they're not ours. What? No American engine sounds that way. Those are zeros. You're right. They're coming in out of the west with the sun behind them. Take cover in the jungles. Well, now what, Jim? A while ago, Jane... We were waiting for our own planes to come after us. But these Japs are here to save them the trouble. 